Hey all, Doug from Convology here. So this question I got on the blog came from Alec. Alec asks a really great question. Uh, he says, how do you properly set the full width for certain sections, then set boxed style content for other sections? More specifically, I'm not sure if Thrive Theme Builder would allow me to have a boxed and full width setting back and forth inside the content. You know, Alec, this is a great question, and I already answered it for you, and it looks like you got everything to work, but I wanted to create a tutorial video for everybody else to kind of clarify how page width works with both Thrive Architect and Thrive Theme Builder. There is some confusion there on the overlap and how you can work within this ecosystem of the Thrive products. So let's go ahead and take a look at my demo page that I've set up. First of all, when you first load a page in Thrive Architect, which is what I'm using right now, it's going to inherit the template settings. And I'm going to create another video on the differences between templates and pages and landing pages to also help clarify some of the confusion there. But for this page, using my normal page template, we start off with the content area. The content area is going to inherit the width set by the template. So on the right hand side here, if I hover over this last option, it says to edit content the current template rather, switch to the Thrive Theme Builder. So let's go ahead and do that really quick and take a look at how Theme Builder is influencing our page width. So once that's loaded up, the first thing you want to do is on the left hand side, you're going to see this content box kind of in our section options here. The content section is this middle piece right here or the, or the, uh, the basically the, the whole area in which you can uh, manipulate the content on the page. What you want to do is go one step out if you, if you hover over the content box here on the left and go one step out, you'll see that you're now inside what's called the layout container. Another way to get to that would simply be to click on the post content itself. And then in the breadcrumbs, we want to go two, three steps back to the content, the layout container. So on the left hand side in the layout container settings, we have the option for a boxed section, or we have the option for full width. I almost always use the boxed option and then I choose a layout width that I want. So for my website, I like 1200. I feel like that's a good width that kind of works with the standard monitor size. It's what I'm personally comfortable looking at, so I choose 1200. If you wanted, you could make that smaller. You could constrain the width of your template down to 800. Some people choose to do that. Some people choose 1000 or 900. Again, I like 1200. Now, we want to make sure that this is set, and we also want to make sure that when we click on the content, we've chosen the particular padding and margin. So some people uh, mistakenly come in here and say, well, I want my page to be more narrow, so I'm going to add 200 margin or padding and 200 padding there, and I've achieved my goal. I don't recommend doing this. I don't recommend doing this at the template level. If you're going to do something like this to affect a design, don't apply it to the whole template. Apply it just to the page. So I always like to make sure that those are set to zero and you know any paddings or margins that I want otherwise set how I like. So once those are set, you can go back to your page in Thrive Architect. Let's continue without saving. So now that I know I have my template settings done, now I want to affect the content on this page. So the first thing I like to do when mapping out a page and knowing that I'm going to have variable background section widths, I like to add a content section and then I like to duplicate it a couple of times. Now, let's say that, and I'm going to color these, this, this will help if I color these and make them a different color. So let's go ahead and throw in the Convology blue, we'll leave this background section white, and we'll put in a Convology green there. Okay, so let's say I wanted this green section, and I'm actually going to duplicate that again. I think that'll make it even easier to see. Now to illustrate how we're going to adjust the content container, I don't know if it translates over the video, but there's a little dotted line. Actually, it's really hard to see on this background color. So I've already made a mistake. I should have made this a different color altogether. So let's go ahead and change this from the green to something a little easier to see. There you go. You can kind of see the dotted lines here. So if we put content within here, and let's go ahead and put in an image. And let's choose, uh, let's just choose there. This will be perfect. So let's say I wanted this image to not be the 1200. All I would have to do is go to my background section, go to main options, and I could choose the width of the content. All the content within this background section is being constrained to whatever I set the maximum content width. The rest of the page is keeping 1200. The content within this background section that I'm adjusting is going to scale to the size of the content that I set. So I can further illustrate that by putting in some text. Duplicate that a bunch of times here to kind of illustrate a point. 
everything within this background section is going to be constrained and because it's responsive, right? The text is going to wrap nicely for us. So as you can see, that's how we adjust our content widths and how we can have both a full width or in my case, a 1200 pixel template width on my page for one element and another element. Let's say I to further illustrate this. Let's say I remove the background color it makes it even, even more apparent. And I'll delete this so that it's even easier to see. So let's cut this background section and let's make that even smaller. So now the content within this background section is 1200, or if I had set it to be full width, and the content within this background section is being told how wide I want it to be. So that's a little glimpse into how you can use background sections and the template in Thrive Theme Builder to variably on a single page have different width sections. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment on this video or head over to convology.com. You can contact me or leave a comment on this blog post. I hope that was helpful. Again, this is Doug at convology.com. Have a great day.